This is the real Tom Rose, and the question we're working on here has to do with functions. Now, when you're dealing with functions, it helps to remember that functions have two main parts. They have an input and an output. For example, in the function that we're given in answer choice A, we're told f of x equals 4x. Now, the input is defined by what you see in the parentheses. In this case, is x. So the input will go right in here for the x, and the output will be whatever this evaluates to. So for the rest of the problem, we're pretty much just going to plug and chug. In the case of a, let's find f of negative 4. So I'm going to take every place where we have an x, and I'm going to put a negative 4 in for it and ask myself, is f of negative 4 equal to f of 4? So I'm also going to put a 4 in. Are these equal? We'll get negative 16. Is that equal to 16? No. So a is not the answer. And let's keep plugging away. So I'll try negative 4 again. Negative 4 over 3, is that equal to 4 over 3? Nope. One's negative, one's positive. How about 4 minus x? 4 minus negative 4, is that equal to 4 minus 4? Well, this one side is 0. The other side, I'm writing it backwards, one side is 8 and the other side is 0. So that's not true, so c is out. How about d? Negative 4 squared plus 4. Is that equal to 4 squared plus 4? Well, one side of this equation is 16 plus 4. And the other side is also 16 plus 4. I don't even have to evaluate this to see that that's true. And d is going to be the right answer. Let's do the last one in case you want to see how that works out as well. Um, let's do 2 times negative 4 cubed and test whether that's equal to 2 times 4 cubed. 4 cubed is 64, so we're going to end up with 2 times negative 64 on one side and 2 times 64 on the other. And one of those sides is negative, the other is positive, so that is not equal, and E is not the answer.